If you live in an area where the TV broadcast towers are spaced very far apart or maybe even in opposite directions, you might have to use more than one antenna to get all the channels in your area. But the question is, how do you combine all those signals into one coax cable? To combine the TV signals from more than one antenna, you'll need some kind of switch, diplexer, or combiner. But there's so many to choose from. Let's go through a few and see how they work. One option is using one of these coaxial cable AB switches, and I've got a few varieties here. They all work pretty much the same though. Here we have two coax cables coming into the switch, and these would be coming from your two TV antennas. And this line here goes out to your TV, and all you do is you have to physically slide the switch back and forth to switch from antenna to antenna. So if you wanted to watch a channel that came from this antenna, you'd have to switch this way. And if you wanted to watch something from this antenna, you switch it this way. Now, these are probably the least expensive option, but also the least convenient. And this will really only work if you've got uh, one TV in one room in the house. If you have more than one TV connected to your antennas, that means you'll have to be running to one room in the house to switch this back and forth uh, to change some channels, and that might not be a very good option. Long ago, before the days of digital television, you could actually combine your paid cable TV system with your antenna and send both of those out to your TV and just switch back and forth. But the bandwidth of this switch is far too narrow to be used with today's digital cable systems. Another option for combining two TV antennas that's probably way more convenient would be using one of these, something known as a diplexer or a coupler. So a diplexer is a step above an AB switch because all of the combining happens automatically without the need for any actual switching. Here you can see we've got one line running into the TV and these two lines would be coming in from the antennas and there's no switch on this. Once you set this up, it's pretty much done. You won't have to touch it again. And uh, there's quite a variety of available. Some of these are a little older. This one over here can actually combine up to four antennas into one cable. If you do have to combine more than one antenna, then this type of diplexer would be ideal for a home antenna system. My original plan was to hook up two TV antennas and show you one of these uh, switches in action, as well as an AB switch, but the problem in my area is that all of the broadcast towers are very close together. So no matter where you put an antenna, all the channels come in. So when I connected two TV antennas to one of these, I got what you call multipath interference, which means that the signals on this antenna canceled out the signals on this one, which made it impossible for me to show you one of these switches in action. But there is one area in my home where I do use one of these and it works very well. And I'll show you that now. So here I'm using a diplexer to combine the signals from my TV antenna as well as from this UHF modulator, which actually allows me to generate uh, three in-home TV channels. Right now I've got it on channels 21, 37 and 27. And um, this is connected to a VCR and DVD player, as well as an old Sony Betamax and a media player. And that allows me to actually create my own in-home cable system, combining these two signals. And this goes to a splitter, which distributes those signals to the TVs throughout my house. And if you're interested in learning more about my home cable system, I did make a video about it a while ago. And I will put a link for that in this video's description.